Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. So on today's to-do list, I want to do a toy clean out and kind of a little toy rotation. I don't think I've cleaned out and like gone through the boys toys since they were like, I think like six months old if I remember correctly. The last time I went through their toys, was when we set up like these walkers and things and i think we set those up when the boys were six months old so it's been like almost 10 months since i've cleaned through and gone through and got rid of a lot of the boys toys a lot of the toys that sit in those bins over there the boys just don't play with either because they don't know that they're in there because they're all the way at the bottom or they're things from when the boys were just a few months old like rattles and things that they just don't find interest in anymore so my goal today is to go through everything here in the living room everything that's in the den downstairs and in their playroom upstairs it's like relatively new the den we just set up and there's only a few toys down there so i know that they're not outgrown and then everything that's upstairs it's like puzzles and things like that books things that i know that they're not growing out of already and the boys are back there playing so today we're basically going to just tackle the living room and just go through and get rid of toys i'm going to rotate some toys some things that are up here like this walker and a few other things i'm going to actually put downstairs in the den they'll have much more room to use this downstairs in the den and they're kind of outgrowing it at this point so i'm going to throw it down there and then when we're down there see if they play with it and if not then you know get rid of that as well and then i do have some new goodies to share with you guys back in those boxes over there we just got some new goodies from love every and so once everything is cleaned out in here i will share with you guys the new goodies that we got and then i'm going to incorporate them into the boys little toy setup here which i'm going to show you guys a closer look at i know you've seen it in a few vlogs but i'm going to show you guys kind of what we're working with so this bin here is what i'm talking about that has just so much stuff that the boys either don't know is in there or they've completely outgrown this one here is all stuffed animals and harris told me not to go through that he's really big on stuffed animals for the boys as you can see so i'm probably gonna leave everything that's in there there are like a few blankie type stuffed animals i think i'm going to take out but all their bigger stuffed animals we're gonna leave this mat here is actually from love every i use this as a tummy time play mat for the boys when they were super super little and then we transitioned it into this kind of little like tp tent for them to have stuffed animals in so this is gonna stay but i need to go through all of this a lot of this stuff like this i might bring downstairs this they rarely play with i'm gonna bring downstairs and see if they play with it down there all this needs to be gone through and then i do want to go through some of these books these ones here the boys don't really read anymore some of them are completely torn up this one is literally in half from the boys flipping through and reading so i think i'm gonna go through the books here and then go upstairs and pick out some new ones for them to look through these have all been down here for quite a while and they mainly consist of ones that have like colors so i'm gonna get ones that have some different pictures and things for them to look through as well and then this stuff here is the new stuff that we got from love every that i'm going to share with you guys once everything is cleaned out so boogies do you want to say hi want to say good morning little jackie has his hair up today benny doesn't ben does not <laughs> hi baby does not really sit still and let me put it up and we actually think we're going to cut ben's hair short i think it's gonna fit his face frame better but we want to leave jackie's hair growing so we can put it all in a man bun soon so i think that's going to happen this weekend but i'm going to try and tackle most of the stuff with the boys awake here now that they don't go down for a nap until 12. we have a lot of time it's about 8 15 in the morning so I'm going to get going in a little bit. I'm going to kind of let the boys play a little bit more before I start. I think my main goal or like how I'm going to get this done is I'm going to start with cleaning all of this up. It'll be much easier to see what we have once it's all clean. And then I'm going to create piles like what's staying up here, what's going to get moved downstairs, and then what's going to either get donated or thrown away. We do donate a lot of the boys' toys. And so if something's in good condition, we'll donate. And if it's all chewed up and gross, we will trash it. Hey, give that to Momoys. Okay, so after going through everything, this is what I'm deciding to leave up here. They love this like color stacker. 
this play block their instruments of course harris's mom also got them a guitar it's in my car i need to go get it and anything that they can take parts in and out of they love like to take the fish in and out to take the blocks in and out so this is going to stay up here these larger toys are going to get brought downstairs along with this truck this dog they don't really play with this just yet because they're not walking so they can't like trail it behind them like that's what it's meant for they basically just play with the string so that's going to get brought downstairs along with these few other things these balls are going to stay up here because the boys still play with those and then i went through this bin here as you can see it's a lot less full i kept everything that the boys currently still play with or things that they've kind of rediscovered as i was going through ben found these little finger puppets so i'm letting him play with those for now and then I'll kind of evaluate if in the next few weeks I don't see them pulling any of this stuff out. We'll go ahead and toss that. I went through their books. There's a lot less in there. All of these are going to get brought upstairs and I'm going to grab some few new ones to bring down. And then everything up here, the boys play with these cups every day along with this stacker. My sister got all these things for them for Christmas. And then these blocks were lost at the bottom of the bin. We have some of them upstairs and then we have some of them down here. So I took them out for the boys to play. I'm going to leave them at the top of the bin to see if they play with those. So now I'm going to bring this stuff down. I have my little donation bag over there I'm going to bring down as well because if you guys saw my den little redo video, we have a bunch of stuff down there that also we need to donate. It's a lot of doubles. So I'm going to put all that stuff together, get the boys dressed in a little bit, and then when they sit down to eat their lunch, I'll share with you guys what we got from Love Every and then tackle cleaning all this up. Okay, so it is now about 10 o'clock. The boys are dressed now. We were playing upstairs for a little bit, playing downstairs in the den for a little bit, and now we're back upstairs and we still have about an hour until lunch and the boys were getting pretty restless. So I whipped out their Love Every block set. I was going to wait to share with you guys the things that we got from Love Every until the boys were sitting and eating so that I can really go in depth and share them with you guys. And I am going to wait to share the play kit with you guys until then. But since I whipped this out, I thought I would talk a little bit about it now. Like I mentioned, I do own the play mat from Love Every. I found that, I think just through Instagram, like following different mom instagrams and things like that a lot of people posted the playmat for tummy time and so i went ahead and purchased that well before the boys were born i really really wanted it and we started using that i think when the boys were like a week or two old we started with tummy time and it also comes with like an arch that toys hang from that the boys would swat at and play with laying on their back as well and then once they stopped doing that they started sitting up and playing with other things i did transition it to that little like tent and it's like a cozy corner now with stuffed animals and we do reach the boys in there and all that kind of stuff so love every is great because they create play essentials from basically birth we started using that play mat soon after the boys were born all the way up until three years of age. And they do create play kits that are designed with your children's developmental needs in mind. Every play kit contains different activities and toys to challenge your children developmentally, which is amazing. I think, especially as a first time parent, it's hard to know like what toys are good for your children developmentally. And Love Every creates play kits that basically send it to you nice and packaged up and super easy. They are designed to help your children with fine motor skills, different things intellectually, and again, just challenge their development at that specific age. Each play kit, I think it's like a three month age range. The one that we got is 16 to 18 months. Like I said, I will go more in depth about that later on. I just want to give you guys a little bit of background on Love Every. They create all their toys and different activities with sustainable, durable, natural products. And I can attest to that. If you guys have been around for a while, you would know our boys spit up a lot when they were little. And so that thing's been through the washing machine. It's been dried. It's been handled. I've taken it places and it's still in a great condition. So all their toys are really durable. But the thing I'm going to share with you right now is their block set. And this is a great all-in-one. I'm actually considering shipping it down to Florida. I mentioned in a few videos here or there that the boys and I are going down to Florida for an entire month to visit with family. They're going to meet basically all their family in Florida that they've never met. And then again, to my parents and my siblings. But we're staying at my mom's house and she doesn't really have a lot of toys for the boys and this block set i think would be great to send down there because it really is like an all-in-one it comes with so many different things so this block set comes with a bunch of different things it also comes with this great fold out to show you just exactly what it comes with i also have little jackie's ponytail on my thumb because he kept pulling it out 
But this is the play block set activity guide. Everything you get from Love Every, including their play mat, comes with a little activity guide to share with you guys a little bit of information about the activity, what you can do with it, what it contains. And this block set contains so much. It has building blocks. It has these little people, which I think are so adorable. It has cylinder blocks. It has dowels. It has shapes. It has different kinds of wheels, different things. You can actually make a car out of it if you use the dowels and the wheels. You can use this little lid as just a puzzle on its own, or you can put it on top and the children can draw the box through like that kind of activity this block set is genuinely mm -hmm. like an all-in-one and that's why i want to ship it down to florida because it can be so many different toys for the boys and definitely keep them occupied for a long time down there so that's why i'm considering sending this down the boys love things like this like i mentioned earlier things that they can put in and take out of so i know they'll love to use it as a little like block sorter like i mentioned but as they get older, they'll be able to do imaginative play with these little people. They can make it a car. They could just do so many things with this. And I think this is a great investment, especially if you're trying to build your child's like, toy supply. This has so much in it, so much potential. I love this thing. I'm raving about it right now because I genuinely think it's a great um, toy to purchase. So this is the first thing that the boys got from Love Every. I'm going to let them play with this now. Oh, it also comes with this great little bag that you can put all the odds and ends in so that you don't lose any of it once it is open. We've kind of been playing with it in the box and then putting everything back so that I could share it with you guys. But this will be great to put everything in once I officially take it out, which I'm going to do that now. But I'm going to let the boys play with this until lunchtime. And then when they're sitting down for lunch, I will share with you guys the play kit. Little Jackie has little people. He likes little people. What does Ben have? Ben has little cylinders. He loves putting everything in his mouth still. They're still very orally fixated with their toys. Oh, you want to see this? Want to read a booklet? No. Oh, you do. Okay, here. Read the booklet, baby. I just unfolded this activity guide. I didn't realize it opened like this. And look how many different ways you can play with this block set. Like I said, imaginative play. There's literally so many different ways to play with this. This is why I want to bring this down to Florida. Look, I feel like this could just keep them entertained for that entire month that we're gone with all the different ways that you can play with it. And of course, as they get older, they'll be able to do more of these advanced things. But that's why it's great developmentally because they will be able to figure out how to do all these different activities like sculpting with feelings. They can make a whole town with this one little block set. How amazing is that? Lunch is served. The boys already started digging in. They had peanut butter with some smashed raspberry, turkey, grapes, clementines. And I brought the play kit over to share it with you guys. So like I mentioned, I got the play kit that is for ages 16 to 18 months. So this is the Pioneer kit and they start basically at like zero to three months, I believe. And they go all the way up to three years old. So I went with the 16 to 18 months since the boys are just about 16 months, even though with their age adjusted being just about 15 months, I went with the more advanced one just so that I can challenge them a little bit developmentally. When you open up the play kit, you get a little layout of what you get inside of it. So in the Pioneer play kit, you get a book, a race ramp, this fuzzy bug shrub that Jack loves, a drawstring bag that holds all of the threadable bead kit pieces, a puzzle, and then this stacking pegboard. And we've already dug into this and started playing with it. I will insert clips as I talk about the different pieces of the boys playing with them. So you can kind of see how they are with playing with the activities. And like I mentioned, every activity, every kit, anything you purchase from Love Every comes with this little book. And there's all different tabs on the side, as you can see. And in each section, it just gives you some information. It goes into different developmental milestones that your child may be at already within this age group or things to kind of work towards with your child within this age group, which I think is great because sometimes you don't know where your child's supposed to be at. Yeah, you go to the pediatrician, but they don't really lay out for you step-by-step step different things that can or should be going on developmentally. And it was really cool to read through this and kind of check off where the boys are at with things, but also it was cool to read through it and kind of see what's to come with the boys developmentally. So I like that it includes a lot of information on different things developmentally. And then it goes into 
each toy that you get in the play kit, a little bit of information on why it's given in the play kit, as well as how to use it with your child. A lot of these things you can model with your children and then kind of give them the freedom to play with it on their own. So each item gives you information about itself. And then if you flip to the back, what I love is this section here. It gives you different activities, sensory play, different things to do with your child that you basically can make with things you already have at home. So this one is basically just having your child help you clean around the house. Again, it gives you information why they instruct you to do it during this age and how you can go about doing it playing with everyday items i'm sure everyone has a bunch of useless tableware in their house different sensory play different independent things that they can do this play-doh one i want to do with the boys i think when my grandma's here we'll have a lot of fun with that and it gives you the full recipe but now let's dive in. You get the book, like I said, this helps with emotion regulation and teaching children about emotions. This is about a little boy who gets hurt at the park. Then you have all the other different activities. So this one here, as you can see, it matches up here. This is the pegboard. This is one that the boys need to work a little bit on to really understand how it works right now. They're just kind of playing with the peg pieces. Ben kind of looked at the holes and tried to place it down, but they need to perfect that hand-eye coordination and the fine motor skill. So that's this. And then these are all the pegs that go with it. This is that little bug shrub that Jack actually really likes. It has like a felt exterior and then it's filled with all the little bugs on the inside and Jack already knows how to open and close it, which is great and look inside and then grab the little bugs out. We haven't really mastered sticking them on to the felt piece yet, but Jack really likes going in and grabbing them out or placing them back in. It comes with this puzzle, which all the pieces are definitely going to fall out. Oh, maybe not. comes with this puzzle. It's a little garden puzzle. The boys are really good at taking the pieces out of the puzzle. They haven't yet mastered like matching and placing the pieces back in the puzzle. So that's something that we can work towards over the next few months with this activity. Puzzles are a great thing developmentally, so I highly recommend getting a puzzle for your child. Then you get that drawstring bag that holds everything for this threading kit. And I know this is something that's gonna take the boys a while to master. I haven't even attempted to do this with them yet because I know they're just gonna like mouth at the pieces and like swing the string around, not really learn how to thread things through. So this is our activity that I'm gonna have to save for when the boys are closer to the 18 month end of things because then I think they'll be able to do that like fine motor skill and understand it more. Right now they don't really understand this so I haven't tried it with them yet. And then the last thing, this is Ben's favorite thing. It's a racetrack. It comes with two little cars in here and you basically can place them at the top and they can watch the cars go down and understand kind of cause and effect of placing the car and watching it come out the end. Jack right now just mouths with the car and kind of plays with it independently. But after sitting for some time with Ben, he actually realized how to place the car on the top. It took him a little while to understand like what direction to place him but he did kind of figure it out and he likes to watch the cars race down so i'm super excited to integrate all these things into our little toy collection and then you can see up here it shows you like what's next to come in the next few months are you all done baby oh my goodness did you dump all your food you finished that fast all right i'm gonna get the boys cleaned up and then i think when they go down for their nap i'm actually going to um clean up the living room and put all this away just so that i won't have them interrupting me and kind of taking things away from me doing my little 10 second tidy it was a little bit longer today because i wanted to make some space for the new love every toys i wound up moving the cable box on top of harris's xbox so that i could fit that stuff right there so it was easily accessible for the boys but harris does clean up every night before the boys go to bed but it seriously becomes a mess within the first five seconds of them being awake in the morning so during their naps i do do like a little 
10 second tidy so that when they wake up everything looks all fresh and new to them so i went ahead cleaned everything up straightened everything up and made room for the love every toys and i'm actually going to end the vlog here the boys are up for their nap and i'm going to have some lunch and some me time i think i'm gonna sit outside it's really nice out so that is it for today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed seeing my little toy clean out and hearing about some new things that we got from love every i will leave a link to their website down below if you guys do want to check out any of their toys or products i believe there's like a little quiz you can take to figure out what play kit best suits your child if you guys are interested in that so highly recommend checking that out hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys